Can you share a little bit about the design of the study presented at ISLAC 2025 meeting? Sure. So it's a retrospective study, basically. So all we did was we took our lung cancer screening uh, population that we have here, and we looked back at baseline low-dose CT scans. And this was about two, 3,000 patients that we looked at. And we basically ran Sybil on this low-dose CT at baseline and got basically a Sybil score. And from that, we were able to tell how well Sybil accurately predicted uh, lung cancer development in our cohort, which it does very well. Interesting. So given that the study population was predominantly Black and socioeconomically diverse, what did you learn about model performance across different demographic and clinical subgroups? I think that's where the next step is headed, right? We're going to try and figure out what are the factors. We don't know what Sybil really utilizes on the low-dose CT to kind of make its prediction, right? And so I think there it can be helpful. We can look at something called the attenuation map of the of the image to kind of see what exactly is it that Sybil is you know, sort of focusing on, right? And from there, we can integrate other factors, other clinical factors, other biological factors, and understand whether or not, you know, these things are represented potentially in a CT scan. That's really interesting.